Look good, feel good. That's the key to life. Go down in the link in the description and get your merchandise today. Use code MVP10 for 10% off your order from today through August 2nd. We got fresh and fly gear, every single flavor, t-shirts, v-necks, hoodies, leggings for the ladies. Anything that you need is down in the link in the description. Shout out to all the MVPs. Roll to 10K. What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody had a blessed weekend. Today is Tuesday, July 27th. So that roster update is coming in the next 72 hours. But if you're new to the channel, make sure you go ahead right now, drop a like on the video, hit that red subscribe button. Don't be a hater your whole life. Shout out to the MVP elites. We got Dexter, Panita, and Raymond Edwards. Also, if you are an MVP elite, then I usually DM you on Twitter and give you updates behind the scenes. So some of y'all should have been able to take advantage of certain things about two to three days ago before everybody else found out about it. But today we're going to go over how you can flip for stubs very, very easy and always make a profit. Let's get into today's banger. If you're looking for great gaming services, head on over to AHMLB and make sure you use code FET for 5% off your order. So the first thing we're going to do is look at the current market. Is the prices starting to go up or is the prices staying about what they was four to five days ago? Hernandez had a big boost, about 500 stubs. Peralta is priced exactly where he should be. George Springer is starting to get a boost. So somebody's been putting him in speculation videos. Galagos is hovering around 3,400. So not as many people are sure if he's going to go up or not. And then we have Pete Alonzo who's up over the 4,000 threshold. So looking at the marketplace right now, Pete Alonzo, George Springer, Freddie Peralta, and Tiascar Hernandez are the top four cards that people think are gonna go diamond. And then we have Galagos that people are thinking around 60 to 70% just by looking at the market. Looking at the marketplace, you can see how many stubs you can make very easy. Pulling Stanton for putting in 700 to 800 stubs is gonna get you a lot of stubs back. Even Joe Musgrove is gonna get you like an 800 profit. Jerry Walsh is gonna get you like a 1000 profit. But these Yanni Sharanos is who I gave to my MVP elite for 122 stubs these are 77 overalls you only need six of them to put in you're using about 720 to 730 stubs and then you put them in the gold exchange and you are pulling out a lot as you can see i bought about 60 to 70 of them but i have buy orders for even more not expecting for this person to get an upgrade but later on after the roster update the price will go all the way back down and i'll be able to get all these cards again for the next roster update oh, another late investment is this mitch Hanniger. So this Mitch Hanniger 700 stubs buying him at is going to give you about a 300 profit and the way he's been playing over the past 10 to 11 games he's had like 14 to 15 hits about 6 to 7 home runs and about 8 to 10 RBIs. So we're going to go right here to filter we're going to go to 76 overalls and we just want to find as many cards as we can do 102 on. 104 is the highest you want to go unless the market get completely saturated. So we'll do as many 100 and twos once you are playing this game by trying to buy cards for a certain price you want to be doing it fast so you need 876s in order to make it so you want to go through and do about five cards four at a time they will slowly come out to you as you can see in the top right corner the josh harrison's is what's moving the fastest out of the few cards that i did put in so the 76 overall josh harrison's is what you should go after try to get them under 104 stubs put in at least seven to 15 orders at a time try to get as many as you can that would be a exchange you can also see in the top right caesar hernandez is moving pretty fast too so we'll come right here to the exchanges now looking at the market you see what cards is moving now we have 14 packs all total and you can see in the top right i'm still getting the cheap cards right now so i can go back and make even more gold packs and it's a good profit on the market over the next 24 hours the profit margin is going to be even better so we coming right here steven strasberg he's an 83 overall as long as i can sell him on the market for more than 1300 that's better than the quick sale 
okay so when you pull the cards like javier baez 83 overalls you can put him on the marketplace. You can see I got 45 of these left. He's usually going for about 26 to 2700 stubs. So me flipping him over is like a 22, 2300 profit profit. So we got Strasburg again. We're gonna hold him. We're gonna quick sell all the other ones for a thousand. It's gonna be a guarantee. They just giving me duplicate Strasburgs. So if you got the 77 overalls in your binder, you can get the stubs for about 720. If you got the 76 overalls, you're gonna need eight of them. You can get it for about 815 to 820. You're gonna be making over 180 to 250 profit on every card. And then you still have seven to eight different chances according to the marketplace to hit very, very big. Get yourself about 20 to 50 packs and you're gonna be making a whole lot of stubs. Plus, once the roster update come, a lot of y'all should have at least three or four of the big cards that's gonna go diamond. Go get your late investments in right now. If y'all rocking with me, you know I got y'all. Let's get it.